Wait, that was the person from before. The lady that was shooting at me in the one by one. What is that? What is this? <laughs> but I guess you just need to have self-control at that point. It's not really the game's fault if you choose to play every single cup. But I, I definitely think a ranked playlist that's just always open would be good. Self-control in gaming. Wait, let me mine just a little bit more. Ugh. Suddenly two hours have gone by. The sun's coming up, no. Sometimes for fun owls, but not really. It's all good, Master Wolf Austin. Thank you for the kind words, though. I think it's cool that you still try to stop by and enjoy the stream and stuff, even though you don't like the game that much. There's no ranked competitive mode outside the cup. Yeah, and to kind of go into the to discussion on that a little bit further, the game has been less fun for the more casual audience, because when the cups aren't going on, the people that want to, uh... Just play and have fun run up against these like sweaty gamers and twitch streamers and I'm including myself in that like when I play solos um, That they otherwise wouldn't have to deal with if there was a ranked mode So all of the like try hard people could just play that instead So it makes the casual experience better too Uh, Yeah, h1z1 has a ranked mode and people actually really liked it mm -mm. It gave you something to grind for I'm hyped that the snow is melting. I can actually see the map again. See, it's like half snow. Uh, PUBG kind of had ranked. See, PUBG was weird because there was no ranked, quote unquote, but they did have customs, like custom matches. And there were leagues that used the customs. And uh, then they had like an in-game leaderboard system, which Fortnite has as well, but it wasn't as robust. Oh yeah, that happens, Master Wolf Austin. It definitely happens. So here's an interesting point of discussion. So there are these things called default scrims, okay? Here are these things called default scrims that exist, and they've actually gotten pretty popular. Um, a lot of competitive Fortnite streamers that are pretty well known all like give you access to the discord that runs those scrims if you are sub to them. So it started with Tifu, but it's more than that now. It's like Tifu, Cloaksy, 72 hours, chap. Like there's a lot of people that you can subscribe to that give you access. So in these scrims, they're called default because you have to wear the default skin, right? So like I wouldn't be using Dyer, I would be using the normal guy. Um, and they tried to introduce this rule called the third circle rule where everyone avoids fighting each other until the, cir the third circle. And by doing that, you get better in games, right? Because more people are alive. Well, while that worked, what it did at the same time was it ruined the squad game for the squads that were playing in that that were not in the scrim. Because what would happen is everyone that was wearing a default skin wouldn't shoot each other. Then they would all shoot the people that were wearing skins because they were quote unquote not in the scrim so they didn't need to be alive in the end game. And that's just teaming at that point, dude. It's just straight teaming at that point. But this wouldn't have been an issue if there was like any other way to play the game competitively. Because trying to force people to play these public matches but competitively just doesn't work. The T stands for teaming. Yeah, like they, they, I think, I don't know the specifics, but I'm pretty sure like someone at Epic reached out to them and they're like, dude, you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> like, it just doesn't work. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, whenever they get rid of that rule, it's fine. But they wanted to do that on purpose to practice in game. And I get it because in game in like scrims is fun, but you can't do that, man. You can't do it. Yo, Blue Bab, thank you for the six. Who says six months hype? Only six more months to be one year with you, Ray. Stay awesome. Hey, I will be here, Blue Bab. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they call them customs when they play on like private servers. That would be fantastic. I think everyone wants that, except for John Fortnite, John Epic. 
More like epic fa- no, I'm not gonna say epic fail. <laughs> I almost did. I don't wanna- I don't wanna meme him too hard, dude. They'll throw me in the brig. I don't wanna go into the brig, dude. Oh yeah, no, it was like unbearably laggy, Odie. I saw like, um, footage where the circle was like this big and there was like 90 people alive and it just broke. <laughs> like, it, someone used a boombox and everything just lagged to all heck, man. They had to get rid of the no kill till third circle, man. Because what they were doing turned into teaming. Everyone would just shoot at the people that were not wearing uh, the default skin before third circle. Which, it doesn't seem like teaming on paper, but it is. You've been fighting anxiety all day because I started the process of looking for a house. Yeah, that's rough. That's very rough. Find changing your place of living is a huge deal because you have to find a place and then get approved for it and then move. And then that's got its own set of complications. And you gotta unpack. It's just like a- it's a multi-month deal. It really is. Best of luck to you on that. Yeah, houses are expensive. You gotta make down payments. Get a mortgage set up. I don't even know how that works, because I've never even done that. I just know it's a thing. I, I kind of did it with my car, but it's a bit more simple with a vehicle. Moving into apartments are poggers, dude. I don't know if you lived on your own when you were an AZ, Odie, but it's sick, dude. I will say, like, I might be behind in a lot of fronts when it comes to, like, personal growth and, like, self-development, but living on my own for multiple years and having my own car to drive anywhere is very liberating. I like it. Yo, Sean with the Twitter! Throws out the raids, loves. Can we get some raids, loves in the chat, please? Oh my god, the drops here. I'm gonna take the RPG, screw it. Oh my god, there's so much healing, dude! I'm just drinking this bad boy. Give me the juice. Now there's no juice. <clears throat> it says 20 months in a row for me, but it's possible. They said it was gonna happen soon. Well, I don't even necessarily mean living on your own, I just mean living away from family. Like, living on your own, as in like, you and a roommate, or you just by yourself, like anything, really. Oh, this is what the new thing looks like, if you wanted to see the gradient. You can really see it on the vehicle here, it looks really nice, look at that. Sup, germ? Cumulative subs are gonna be sick. Yeah, I've lived- how long have I lived on my own? Oh my god, four years? I'm old, man! Actually, I think I just kind of got into my living on my own when I was really young. Because I started living on my own whenever I was 20. Which I don't think most people do. Or not very many, anyways. <laughs> I'm like 12! <laughs> Yo! Chill, dude! Psycho plane man here. I'm gonna try to dive him by this person. Oh god, now they're both shooting at me. Shoot at that guy! Yes! The plan worked! <laughs> Dude, that, that was my plan all along. I wanted to get the plane guy to shoot at him instead. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, yes, Deagle gameplay. Unfortunately, I've got a rocket launcher, so... I've got a rocket launcher in high ground. Oh, big brain on the stairs. How you doing? Oh, what's that? Through the window? Oh, you also have an RPG? Oh my god, you're going for Deagle RPGs. We need to take you out for the sake of humanity. Thank goodness. Humanity has been saved. Temporarily. Not like this matters. Oh my god, we got the upgrades, dude. Upgrades for days! Poggers. Wait, that was the person from before, the lady that was shooting at me in the one by one. What is that? What is this? <laughs> dude, what is that? Wait, what? Yo, what's up, Dreamy Pup? I'm going in it, dude. What? I hate this game, dude. It's the biggest debate of all time right there. Showed up. <laughs> I just got jump scared, dude. What was that? Yo, call Cobalt Kobe, thank you for the resub. He says, not gonna lie, I'm really just sub because I saw someone use your emotes in Red Falcon stream. Well, I've got some good news for you, Kobe. Continue to enjoy the enjoy the emotes. I've got some bad news for you as well. You probably shouldn't put that in the resub message. Doesn't make people feel better. Just saying. Glad you like the emotes. You showed up at a good time, Resonant Hearts. Nothing's a slap to the face as a content creator as a, Hey, I don't like what you're doing, but you've got cool dog emotes, so I'm gonna give you money for that instead. Hey, thanks, Fiji Man. You're pretty good yourself. Alright, I hope I find bandages here. Or something. Give me the juice. You thought they were a fox? Haha! -ha. Joke's on you. They're orange dogs. Oh, there's someone in there, dude. Dude, he had a trap in there and everything. This guy's big braining. This guy's this guy's huge braining right now. Oh god! What is- dude, this game is jump scaring me right now. Hey, it's all good, dude. I'm not trying to call you out too much. It's just I deal with that crap pretty regularly. It's- it's a side effect of having, I guess, like, good emotes, which... It's kind of like a first world problem, I guess, but... I can't tell you... Uh, how uncommon, or how, I guess, not uncommon, so I guess pretty common it is to get comments where people are like, Yeah, dude, I actually don't like what you're doing at all, but thanks for the emotes, see you in 30 days, and I'm like, well, 
Okay. Bye. I guess. I don't know. Uh, you can for the cup, MC3. Yeah. Hey Ray, I just wanted to let you know that I'm a big, big fan of the minions emotes. The main reason I'm subbered, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. I I understand you're probably not trying to be rude. I just go on the defensive because I deal with that a lot. But I mean, if you're a Red Falcon viewer, you're probably a good guy because I love Sam. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, I'll show you why, Seismitoad, because when you d they're easier to edit. You can quickly rotate, but also you get more angles. So like if I'm trying to shoot down, I can stand on top and look down like this. Whereas if I was on stairs, I couldn't do that. It just gives you more options. This guy really trying to fight me for high ground? What a weirdo, dude! This guy's a psycho! And here comes the plane. What? Who's this guy? That's a different person! I think. I'm pretty sure anyways. I can't. Oh, it's because there's a four there. Okay. There's a floor here too. Why is it edited into the floor? Who did this? What is that? Uh, oh yeah, it's the weird one where you can edit builds. 100%, dude. It's pretty, it's pretty broken, and like, no one really likes it, especially in solos, because it gives anxiety. Because you're never safe. If you take damage, you're pretty much screwed, because you don't ever get to heal. Because like, someone can just run up to you and be like, okay, I'm in your box, what are you doing about it? Late game boogie strat. Oh, we got damage. Wait, what was that guy's name? Was it like something funny? Did I mess- did I miss out on a funny, dude? Uh, yeah, you get health on kill. See, like, this is what you do. Okay, he's hurt. Well, if I let him heal, then, you know, he's gonna be able to fight back. So what he's gonna do, is he's gonna try to bait me with a rift to go. Nice try, bub. I'm gonna take it too. Thank you for the freebie. Enemy gamers, dude. Oh, does this guy have no mats? What's he doing?
Listen, that was a pretty good endgame. That might be a good one for the tubes, dude.